my loyal subjects, and today we're going to be talking about how to clean up your graphs and make them a little bit more readable. So, a lot of times you'll be working on a graph and it'll be really complicated and maybe you're building something really sophisticated. You're trying to build some awesome system. And um, maybe you just need to write down some information about how it works. You need to add some comments and I'm going to be going through some basic techniques on how to clean up your graph. So, uh, as a result, uh, first thing we're going to talk about is labels. So if you select a node and you hit the N key to bring up this little menu on the side, there's this little property called label. It's under name, and what you can do is you can just name something. This will override the title you see. So I could say uh, sand diffusion, etc. Something like that. And that's really nice, but let's say I also want to color code it. Well, there's a little color checkbox, as you would expect, and you can play around with that a bit. So I could say, you know, okay, this is going to look like sand. And you can even mouse over a color, hit Control C, and then paste it up here. It's not going to look quite the same, but it'll look reasonably nice. So uh, you can copy and paste any value in Blender by just mousing over it, hitting Control C, and then pasting it. So. However, this will only carry you so far, and as you build up more and more complicated graphs, you're going to run into more and more cases where individual comments might explain what a node does, but they won't explain the overall intent of the node group you're building or something. So maybe you need to build, you just need to drop some text on the graph. Well, you could do it with Grease Pencil, but Grease Pencil has its problems, namely it's obnoxious, and uh, also hard to write correctly with. So. Well, it's very nice for drawing little diagrams on your graph. It's not the best for a lot of other cases. So in this case, I'm going to show you how to make these little blocks of text. So another thing you can use to organize your graph is if you have a group of nodes, and let's say you've got a bunch of them, and you want to add them all to a frame. This is a wonderful little thing that you can create. And you just select all of the nodes that you want to add to it. You hit G to move them and then you left click with your cursor over the frame. So important distinction here, it's not about dropping the node on here, so if I got it selected, um, if I remove it with Alt P, it doesn't matter if the node's on there, like I'm trying to drop it in, the node's holding, you know, floating over the frame. What actually matters is that my cursor is on it. This is a little bit unintuitive at first, but makes more sense once you get it, um, get the hang of it, and actually is really, really useful once you get used to it. You can again change the label, so I could say sand colors or something like that. And uh, I could then give it a color like, I don't know, red or something. And wow, that's garish. So anyway, there, again, this will help you sort of say what a certain thing is, but it's still not going to get you the full text experience. And this is where these blocks of text come in. You see, what you can do is you can add a frame, and you'll notice right off the bat, the frame doesn't really have anything in it. And if you don't have anything in a frame, they won't do this whole resizing thing, which is really lovely, but only when you have nodes inside. What you can do is that you can scale them out so that they're about the size of a line of text, and then you can just change the label. So I could say, uh, diff you know, uh, basic sand material, something like that. And then I could just change the color again to something like blue. And I could just explain what I meant to do by this. I could say like, well, I, you know, whatever. Sand is a bunch of small, uh, tiny pieces of rock. Sand a bunch of tiny pieces of rock. So here, I'm explaining, you know, I'm able to write down an explanation and someone else coming along could understand this reasonably well and say, oh, hey, yeah, that explains what, you know, he was doing here or something. So in this case, I've actually done it to explain both what diffusion means and also what the different properties do. So you can see here, I've written it up. Now, if you want to get a little bit more advanced, you can actually start sticking these sort of text blocks inside of other text blocks. So for example, I could grab it, left click on the basic sand material, and now you've got a little wrapped around thing. This can be useful for categorization or if you just have a title. So anyway, that's really useful. That helps you 
and just keep everything organized. We can just duplicate a few times. Create some nice text and hopefully this will help you keep your graphs a little bit cleaner. And finally, I want to talk about the most basic, uh, the really the most basic organizational tool of them all, relays. Hold down shift, drag out this little line. If you drag it over one of these connections, it'll add a little relay, just a little point that you can drag around. It'll even give you a little arrow on some of them. Quite useful, and uh, especially when you want to have multiple things plugged in. You can get Control X, by the way, to just remove it without breaking the connection. If you just delete it, it'll break the connection, but if you hit Control X, it'll actually keep that line intact. So anyway, those are some nice ways you can keep your graphs organized, and uh, yeah, hopefully that has helped you out, and hopefully you'll be able to make some cool stuff and keep it uh, clear. And also remember, future you will not remember how you built that graph because frankly, uh, yeah, I mean, that's just kind of a coding fact. Assume future you is going to have forgotten everything. So yeah, you might be stumbling into this like a year later or even months later and it's like, oh, hey, why did I do this this way? Doesn't make any sense. So anyway, hopefully this has educated some of you on some of the cool tricks you can do to keep your graphs clean and readable and make sure that people who are using them, uh, frankly, don't wanna punch you in the face. So yeah, anyway. Peace out, make cool stuff, and possibly link it in the description so I can actually see it, because I love to see cool stuff people make. So, yeah, peace out. Have fun. Cool of talking.